Okay, let me start the webinar. Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Subraman of iNowIndustries.com. So we are in this week of 18 to 22nd of May. So for the week beginning on Monday, 18th of May, let me present the Asian Session Live Market Analysis webinar explaining the derived forecast for this week, the session-wise forecast for this week. And also I will try to do the market reading for today and explain briefly about the trading strategy which we could follow in order to consistently earn from that other market respective of the market moves. First of all, we will see the derived forecast for this week. The last week we have seen Euro and GB we were gaining considerably on Friday and what is expected from there. So it is the third week of May, again the trending time. So the upward trending move is in the process. So in that initially we'll come across the week beginning false move to start with on Monday, then volatile moves during that of the midweek and then quick rise may be seen during that of the weekend. So we will find that either way moves will be there, but with more of an upward push in the case of Euro and GBP. As a result, we will come across more and more of USD weakening move in this week. So today is 18th May. They are expected to make a dip and small firm up move during that of the Japanese session, then followed by that swing and slide. So the slide could be deeper during that of the European session as the week beginning falls move. It can be a drop also. And that is a good buy opportunity. And afterwards, they will make the swing and firm up move during that of the year session. Then tomorrow, 19th of May, they are expected to make the swing and firm up move. And again, they are expected to make the slide in during that of the European and the US session in order to induce the long holders of the higher levels to liquidate the long positions and turn short so that when they gain the levels from Wednesday, they will be able to really induce the short sellers, those who are liquidated the long during the drop and turned sellers will come for short covering from Wednesday when they gain the levels during that of the Japanese and the US session. So during that of the European session on Wednesday, they could make subdued moves or hold high and then continue to gain during that of the year session. Then a small dip and rise is expected on Thursday 21st and they will hold and make small slides inducing those who are holding the long positions to liquidate and our book profit in a hurry then afterwards they are expected to gain the levels in the market. So they will slowly gain another 50 to 100 pips above that of last week high in that process. Then next week will be the last week of May. Then whenever you come across the month end, the month gets over by that week. Then you come across the new month starts in another week. For two weeks, we'll come across the trend reversal moves. So 25th to 29th of May, following by that of the first week of June, we'll come across the trend reversal time. So of 10 days nearly, we'll come across the trend reversal and that will lead to that of very volatile moves. Whenever the duration is longer, we'll come across the players try to make either way big moves in the market. So till 5th of June, we could come across. 1st to 5th of June will be the next following week. So till such time, we'll come across the monthly trend reversal moves. The monthly trend reversal move is expected to show some extended downward stop and before making an upward push again. So we'll find during the time frame there could be quick upward push in the Euro and GBB during that particular month and trend reversal. And also they will try to make a downward extended stop in before making further big one-sided rise in the month of June, July, and August. So the 
prepared for the big upward moves in the case of euro and GBP from that of first week of June. Till such time, they are expected to make the wide range swings. Probably they will just take the market up to that of the resistance and then try to statistical resistance and then try to drop, giving the impression to that of the traders that we can follow the charts. Then once the traders see the next high, when the market is coming to the other resistance, everybody will start commenting, Euro is looking very heavy. GBB is looking very heavy, not able to brace that resistance. And that sort of stories will come across throughout the world in the websites and also in the media. Then the traders will be thinking that it is a great opportunity to sell since they are not able to breach the resistance and go about. But the players will simply hold high induce many people to take sell positions, including that those who are holding long positions to liquidate long and term short. When all become short sellers, the players are not here to drop and get the profit for them. They will continue to breach and make an upward shift in trading zone for about 1,000 pips and then induce everybody who is selling to go in for a big short covering in the case of Eero and GPP. So that will be the scenario. So try to keep in mind that the players are here to trap the traders who sell after the drop and trap the traders who buy after the rise. So that you need to keep it in mind. Then let us see in what range in this week they are expected to make the swings. So we could come across zero could swing in the range of 1.1275 to 1.1575 level. So they could they are currently holding around 1.14 region and they could make one upward push and a downward push during this process. So when they come when they make a downward push below that of 1.13 you try to watch and see that they set the low and not breach the low for more than 30 minutes and then try to take a buy, we'll be able to really make good profit during the upward move. And in the case of GBV, currently they are holding around 1.57. Last week, they went up to 1.5802. As you know that in order to create the bullish field, they make quick moves in the case of GBP. And once they make the quick moves in the case of GBP, every dip the traders will try to enter long positions. Then they will make one more deeper correction. And then afterwards, the long liquidation will happen and the traders will become sellers. And technically, people will say that the market is going to reverse on the downside. Then after the drop, when the traders sell, the players are going to buy their sells and then start gaining the levels of gain. Then in the case of USDN, they are making sideways move around 119 and they are expected to make for the downward move slowly to that of 117 area. In the case of CHF, quickly they came down last week to that of 0 0.91 level and afterwards now they are in the process of taking USD CHF on the upside. So you will find that when Euro is gaining the levels and before that, when Euro is making a drop, they will make one-sided gain in the case of USDCHF. And then subsequently, when Euro start gaining on weekend, they will also gain the levels in the case of USDCHF. So that you have to keep it in mind. They will make the contrarian move and rise in order to rise the levels in the case of Euro CHF. And as you know that, all of last week, they have been handling Euro and GBP in a contrarian way in order to just gain and drop the levels in the case of Euro GBP cross because which is a heavy weight. The book value is very high, more than uh, two in the case of Euro GBP. So that is why they have been focusing on it. Afterwards, they will focus on Euro CHF. Sorry. Yeah, Euro CHF by gaining level in the case of Euro as well as in the case of USD CHF. Then with regard to the commodity pairs, they are expected to make less of the USD gaining move and more of USD weakening move. So we'll come across AUD might make a brief downwards drop or move to that of 0.979 or slightly below and then start gaining the levels again. Similarly, in the case of USD CAD, they are expected to make further downward push 
rather than making big rise on the upside. So every level in the case of USD CAD, they will induce the traders to turn long and don't give the profit booking opportunity. And finally, they will make one downward push of 200, 300 pips. And in that time, all the longs will come for a liquidation. The players will happily buy against their sales and turn long and start gaining the levels again afterwards. So you'll come across in the case of USD CAD, they will initially make the USD weakening move and alternatively they will also make the USD gaining move from the month of July. So keep that in mind that the currency behaviors will not be all the time USD weakening and the USD gaining and instead they will make some contrarian moves. So similarly in the case of USDN also after dropping to 117, they will try to gain again. When Euro and Chile, we are gaining the levels during the month of June, July. They will also gain the levels in the case of USDN and USDCH. Okay, that's what the forecast. Now we will come to the market reading. So let us see. what the initial lows and the highs tell us. The case of Euro 1.1420 is the low initial low, 1.1450 is the initial high. They are not breached the low or the high even now. In the case of GBB also 1.5707, 1.5746, they are not breached the low or the high. And in the case of Yen, 119.27 is the low, 119.75 is the high. They are not reached the low or the high. And CHF, 9152 is the low, 9190. So 91 is the high. They are not reached the low or the high. Then in the case of Canadian dollar, 1.2 1.2006 is the low, 1.2048 is the high, they are not reached the low or the high. Then Aussie, 0 0.8005 is the low, 0 0.8052 is the high. So they are not reached the low or the high in any of these currency pairs that indicate that they are holding and just making small swings in order to induce the traders to commit positions. Once the traders commit positions, as I explained during the talk, the expected market moves, they are expected to make this slide, induce the traders to liquidate the long positions during that of the European session. And so you will find almost all European sessions, they will try to pretend as if they are going to drop, but they are expected to gain the levels. That is what envisaged in this week. So after noting down the initial lows and the highs, we wait for the market to come closer to high or closer to low. If it is closer to high, not to breach the high for more than 30 minutes, we'll try to take a sell. And if it is closer to low and not breach the low for more than 30 minutes, we try to take a buy. But currently market is in the middle level. So we have to wait for them to come to either to as high or to as low. That will happen during the day late session. Then afterwards, keep 30 pips hedge order to limit the risk. And once the market makes profit, keep stop at entry and also make it as a trailing stop, maintaining 25 pips from the market. And the exit point can be 45 to 75 pips, depending upon the momentum or the commitments. So these are all the session timings. So follow the session timings. Early in the late sessions, they handle the majors. Mid sessions, they handle the crosses. Gap time, they make the false move in the case of majors. So watch that and try to trade so that you'll be able to really follow the market timing and take appropriate positions. So that early session you can enter and late session you can close. And that way you will find that you are able to make wise session wise trades without any ambiguity. And coming Thursday, I have got some other work, so I will not be able to present the webinar. And I'll come back on 25th of May and give the forecast for the next week. Tomorrow, I'll be presenting the monthly webinar 
the monthly twin webinar that is part one and part two i give it on tracking the forex market together so in that i will explain to you how exactly the market reading has to be done following the forecast as a guiding factor then also using the trading strategy how exactly we can enter into the market so quickly whenever they are making quick moves in the early part of the sessions and then during the european session 8 gmt then after taking the positions by 13 gmt close of the european session i will show you how exactly the session wise trade has been done how successfully the profits are booked and also we'll use the hedging the event if the market goes against and if the hedging is used how exactly we are able to handle hedging and earn either way during that of the upward or the downward move in the market so that you'll be able to learn and afterwards i'll also show you how exactly gap time 13 to 13 30 gmt the gap time they are making the false move and the following will be the opposite to that of the false move during the early part of the us session those things we will be able to watch it live and i will be able to give a running commentary about the market so that you will be able to understand how i read the market and if you find it is useful you can also try to use the same technique and try to track the market at ease so let me answer to the questions which are asked here in the chat window as well as the question answer windows the lamp shell yes but of course i see a lot of slide moves during that of the european session but you described the weak moves as volatile and quick rise yes that's what every day they will pretend as if it is going to drop but they will gain that sort of moves they are expected to make and you will be able to really see that for every data release the market might appear that they are going to drop but most of the occasions they will try to gain the levels in the case of euro and cbp and also you will come across the contrarian move sometimes they gain the levels in the case of euro holding cbp and certain other time gain the levels in the case of cbp holding euro and also simultaneously by weekend they will gain the level in the case of euro as well as usd ch of usd n cbp etc so more of a contrarian moves or in the process that you have to do it with the help of the market reading technique so you have to find out whether they are into the process of usd weakening or usd gaining move now you find that euro gbp and australian dollar are negative exchange and usd yen usd ch and canadian dollar in positive exchange that means they are making the usd gaining move so whenever they make the usd gaining and the usd weakening move then you expect them to continue with that or just make a reversal of it during the day and whenever they make the contrarian move that is gaining the level in the case of euro or dropping the level in the case of euro and similar moves are happening in the case of usdn and gbp so euro gbp and usdn when all the three show negative net change that means they are handling and crosses similarly when they show negative net change in the in the case of usd cad and australian dollar that means they are pushing down the commodity crosses so that way you can read what they intend to do with the help of the net change and also their signs and accordingly you can take positions don't simply find the supports and the resistance in the case of crosses and take positions and you know that the players are known to extend such moves and trap the traders those who follow the charts because they know very well they are inducing the traders to use the chart and as long as they are human it is like a trick so they ask you to follow one method and when all the traders follow that particular method they trap them simply telling some other skews so that is the scenario of so it is a basic uh, mechanism of cheating you know anybody who wants to cheat will use such you no know, they have to first of all misguide they have to pretend as if they are very friendly with you and then convince you to follow it and once they start seeing that the traders follow that then immediately they just trap them so when they want to convince you 
it has to the market moves should appear near that of the resistance the market has to drop near that of the support the market should rules then you gain more confidence okay yeah the charts are working well then commit more positions then you will be trapped with the help of stop hands but the charts will say simply they are noise but you do last the positions then share is ero gbb on trend reversal that is on the rise yeah ero gbb around 0.71 area it is expected to reverse then shan is australian dollar likely to trade on either side 0.80 in the next few months no ons is expected to gain levels here from there of 0.79 to 0.88 level is there any question so that i'll answer to those questions let me show the focus slide for the late comers those who are not seen it can see it so they are expected to make the market volatile and that is gain drop gain etc but ultimately each time they will gain some more pips about 25 to 50 pips so that at the end of the week they will be able to come across that they gain about 100 to 150 pips or sometimes 50 pips so that is how they will just make the volatile moves and make quick rise after that drop so you will find suddenly they make the drop and by the time you understand that market is going to drop and also the charts indicate that they could make a free fall and immediately you find that it start bouncing then you get confused and see and later on they hold the market then all the traders will take sell positions and thinking that it is a bouncing cat dead cat bouncing then take sell positions and afterwards they will just continue to gain quickly the level that is what they had done it on friday so keep in mind they have to make all such pretensions in the market so that the traders can get cheated so easily it is not only the small traders who become fools and even the institution and the dealers in many institutions they also become fools of such they also they are also being fooled by such moves and that is why in order to avoid becoming fools they follow the charts and there again they are as they are misguided so is there any question okay what about ero gbp ero gbp is expected to gain more levels after making a brief down or stop and move here ero gbp okay 0.71 level was a good level to buy and afterwards they are expected to gain probably they may go to that of 0.7187 or so and then start gaining the levels for that they will make the contrarian move at the moment they are not making much of a contrarian move a slight contrarian is seen there is euro is making more negative net change when compared to that of gbp but they will make one big contrarian move by gaining the levels in the case of euro or gaining the levels in the case of gbp dropping the levels in the case of euro at that time you try to take a buy position then he will reverse the market the next day on this and always try to understand what sort of moves they are doing with the market and accordingly you commit positions in different currencies don't focus only on single currency all the time any other question please what questions you can ask me 
Otherwise, I'll wind up the webinar. So these are all the expected market moves for this week. So you can make a note of it or take a screenshot and then you can make use of it. And this webinar is being recorded. I'll try to give the link in fxtrade.net. And you know that there is an announcement that fxtrade.net, it is not going to be functional after 31st of May. So we have to find an alternative mechanism of giving the uh, link of the webinars and also giving some forecast, etc. in fxtrade.com. So earlier, I was giving the forecast and also uh, the link of the webinars in FX Trade blog. Then subsequently, uh, I was asked to present it about four years back. I was asked to present it in FXTrade.net. And you know that there were a lot of commotions and confusions in FXTrade.net at that time. And then I stopped giving the forecast and also giving the uh, interactions to that of the traders questions because a lot of people started abusing the such opportunity. Then I was asked to stop and also I just gave the link only to that of the webinars. Then subsequently you find that FX Street is going to discontinue with FXTrade.net because of the pouching of the members by other websites and also they use it for the kindergarten fights. So it is bound to happen in a social network and especially with regard to the market forecast. As why that happens, not in other social networks, but in the case of trading, why this happens? Because somebody gives a forecast, say X is giving a forecast and that forecast work very well. Then you come across about five, 10 people who follow that. Then second day, it gives the forecast and that also works. Then immediately, they become blind followers. Okay, it is available free, so they don't use any other technique and they don't use their common sense and follow the third day forecast and lose the money. Then they will say that man who has given it might say sorry. On the fourth day, he gives the forecast. They cautiously enter and they lose then immediately they start ailing because they have got access to that of the person who is giving the forecast. So they start ailing at him. That leads to a lot of controversies. And the person who has given it will say that, so I was asking you to use the stock. So that is how you come across that whenever there is a forecast and the market can follow the forecast or go against that the traders need to understand. And forecast is a forecast. It is nothing but a speculation in a scientific way. And in the process, if it goes wrong, if they try to blame the person, that means others have entered into that market on a biased decision that the forecast, what he gives, will be working all the time. So now that has been proved beyond doubt. That is, uh, that is the thing I was giving in the beginning. So now it has come true that such social networks in Forex may not be a very successful uh, thing. So only thing is somebody can give the forecast and answer to the questions. And somebody has to monitor and see that unnecessary questions are to be blocked. And only then such things will not happen. And also the email IDs and other aspects of the other traders should be carefully protected, only then the pouching will not happen. So these are all small remarks, what I thought I can give, because since I've been associated with FX trade growth for a long time, since 2000, 2001, so I thought that I can share it with you people, because you are also here to understand the various things happening in the social media. Then New Zealand dollar view. Okay, now when is the best for position trading? So position trading can be done after the week beginning false move yeah, and wait for the slides to happen afterwards. Take buy positions either tomorrow European session or so 
and see that they don't breach the low then afterwards you will be able to see that they gain the levels and then make less drop and gain more at that time you will be able to really keep stop at entry and wait and try to close it by weekend from next week we will find they will make very quick rise like 150 pips followed by another 150 pips rise and things like that so once you enter at the right time you will be able to see that real profit coming in in the position trade then your views on new zealand dollar the new zealand dollar is also now currently handling they are handling new zealand dollar along with that of euro and you find that aussie is making 26 pips negative net change when new zealand dollar is making 46 pips negative net change they just pushed new zealand dollar on the downside to start with and afterwards they will try to gain first the levels in the case of new zealand dollar followed by that aussie this is mainly to handle aussie new zealand dollar cross aussie new zealand dollar cross after the downward push they are expected to gain the level they started gaining slowly and every time they will make a consolidation around these levels and then start gaining it after this new zealand dollar they will gain first followed by that aussie is also expected to gain then chow kid uh, usd cad still falling from the present level yes usd cad is expected to make a downward push in trading zone soon so these are all the levels in which the currencies are expected to swing and i'll not be able to review this on thursday anyhow you can just take a screenshot and just review it and next monday when i come back you can just ask any questions for any to that everybody is not following in line with it of the expected levels so that you have the expected levels you have the forecast session wise forecast and also you have the market reading technique and the market timings so follow all those things you will be able to really understand how you can successfully trade in the market and tomorrow that is 8 gmt during start of the european session i'll give part 1 of tracking the forex market together and follow the same forecast and also the market reading and then take positions before you and show you how exactly the positions can be taken with quick decisions and then subsequently by end of the session i'll be able to show you how i have made profit in such positions so i expect you all to come during that of the track in the forex market to the webinar so that we'll be able to really understand how easily we'll be able to take trading decisions it is not a complicated issue only thing is we need to understand somebody is acting against us and you have to read them that's all once you become habituated to that then trading becomes a child's play so i take this opportunity thank you fix street for the facilities provided and also you people who have come here to listen to the webinar mm -hmm. see you tomorrow during the track in the forest market together webinar thank you one and all wish you all very happy trading thank you